Well, my name's Kevin Green. I'm on the uh, board of directors of the Friends of the Kickapoo Rail Trail. And we are out here on the trail right now on the iconic trestle bridge that goes over the Middle Fork River, Illinois' only scenic river. And uh, there's quite a few people using the trail today. It's a beautiful, sunny day. I'm Julie Colby, and I'm a trail enthusiast. <laughs> I just enjoy getting out in the beautiful weather and, you know, walking or riding my bike. <laughs> well, first of all, I have to use a walker to walk any kinds of distances, and I have found that it's, uh, the surface of the trail is fairly easy to maneuver. Even, even some of the areas that are slightly gravel, it's, it's packed down fairly well enough that I can um, maneuver it without any major problems. Uh, we come out all year round. <laughs> I don't know, there is the best time. I've been out here when it's kind of, uh, you know, when it's gray and, you know, cloudy, it's beautiful. In the fall, it's beautiful. In the winter, same thing. And it, again, it's fairly easy to maneuver. Uh, enjoying nature. Just came out. Uh, I come out here with my granddaughter. Usually, when I pick her up from Oakwood High School, I'll take her out here. We've taken our youngest grandchildren out here, and I just retired two weeks ago, so I figured it's now I got the perfect opportunity all week to do it. You know, I can get out here during the day and just enjoy nature. I love nature. I, you know, walk, you know, I spent two hours, two, two and a half hours just walking in the woods this morning. Uh, then I come home for an hour or so and back out here again just because I this is what I love is the peace and quiet and the basic this is where everything starts this is nature's where it's at well the friends of the Kickapoo Rail Trail uh, is a 501c3 organization we've been in existence for about a year now um, it's made up of the board of directors is from Champaign and Vermilion counties uh, we are raising funds and uh, to do various projects uh, along the, the trail. For example, we are chatting with the village of Oakwood to uh, build a pavilion and some park benches. Uh, we just met with the village of Ogden last night um, to uh, listen to some of their desires and wants. Uh, we're working closely with the village of Urbana and extending the trail uh, westward into some of the city parks in Urbana and eventually we hope to extend the trail all the way to Danville. But right now it terminates at the Vermilion County Fairgrounds. Um, I would emphasize this is an all-season trail. It's flat the whole way. It's easily accessible. Uh, we were just chatting with a couple of young women today that had never been here before. They live in Danville. They heard about the trail and they were just very excited to be out here. I'm, I enjoyed it. It's beautiful out here. You said your first time? First time. First time it won't be your last time. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait to bring my binoculars out bring and see the eagle out. again out yeah. there. I, I like it. I think it's more safer. Yeah. Well, you know, we have to deal with traffic. We have to deal with people's dogs. Uh, we don't, we don't have to worry about that. Like when we be at Lincoln Park, you got people that let their dogs off the leash, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, and then you don't have no cars coming, you know, running behind you. It's, it's really safe, it's really safe. There are plenty of places to eat along the trail. In Oakwood, there's Obie's. There's also Billy Bob's in Ogden and the Wheelhouse and um, it's just gonna be a fabulous experience when you get out here. And there are facilities along the uh, trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is one thing I try to get out there as well. So there, oh. there's an area, there's actually a place that's more formal in Oakwood. And then also, if you just head down the trail a ways, you'll see like an orange, uh, like, like a bicycle rack. And right there is a parking lot. You can get off on 150, you can park there and uh, there's a drop toilet there that's open all year round. Uh, once you get out walking on the trail, if you find that you want to become a, a member of the Friends of the Kickapoo Rail Trail, uh, go to our website, which you can, uh, you'll have that information on this show and uh, look through it and sign up and become a member.